I just bought the biggest cars collection in the entire world, and today we're gonna be blowing it up. Hmm, <laughs> no. We're, we're obviously not doing that. What is this, Mr. Beast? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Yes, once again, a year later, doing another room tour by popular request. And I had to change a lot of stuff to make it really look different and stand out compared to last year. So without further ado, when you come into my room, it's a bit dark here. I do want to put a light there someday eventually. Um, but we have my posters. They're all autographed and verified. There's the number in case you want to check on the website. Wall decor from Hobby Lobby. Artwork from D23. Another one that's signed. This one's by Owen Wilson. Um, pin board from the Disney Parks. Funko Pops. We got the ones from Cars. A couple autographed ones from Descendants. Uh, some other random ones. I'll just close the door that way. My voice doesn't project so much. Lounge fly bag collection right here. Pretty, pretty nice. Let me just move over to this side. It's kind of dark. I got the Marvel ones at the bottom. Cars ones at the top. I got this one here in the middle. Cars Land bag. That crossbody one. This one and the Mater one. Probably one of my more favorite bags, to be honest. And then we got my Hot Wheels. So we got like a couple of packaged ones. A couple of the tuned collection. Fast and Furious. And of course in here also, in my glass cabinet, or acrylic, not even glass. I have a lot of Hot Wheels also. I, I do like collecting Hot Wheels. So I have like Audi, Corvette. Porsche. All of this is Porsche. Um, Tacoma. We have some Teslas also up here. Um, Viper, Hellcat, Lotus, Alfa Romeo, Ford, uh, NASCAR, and imports like Supra. What is this again? Subaru. Okay, Subaru, Mazda, Mazda. You get the picture. Pretty cool. I always have different stuff in here. I can never decide how I want to display that. Sometimes I'll have Tomika cars from Disney. Or, yeah, from Disney cars in there. Sometimes I'll have um, character cars, like, from Marvel. It's always different, but that's how I have it right now. I like how that looks. And then we get to sort of, like, this wall right here that has... Well, last year it was, I think... I don't remember if it was Marvel or if I had already turned it to On the Road. But I think in the video after the room tour was when it was On the Road themed. And it had that poster that's not on the closet. Or now the, on the closet, there where that pinboard is. So yeah, that pinboard is new. It's used, but it's new for the room. And this is now where I have all of my car spins. Pretty, pretty sweet. Over here I have, honestly, it's kind of just like random stuff. It, it's mainly like piston cups and whatever, right? You, you know, you got that stuff there. You got my custom uh, that a fan made for me or commissioned, I guess. And I have like my NASCAR oil can or gas tank whatever and then the dock cuts and piston cup it's flipped the other way because if i turn it the other way it's not gonna fit on the shelf it barely fits right there if i put it the other way it's just gonna fall and i don't want that i have that pack from toys r us some of my tomika cars right here with this little like piston cup display more piston cups <laughs> micro drifters and uh oh what are those called Dorables? no not wishables Dorables. yeah that they sell at target uh, my on the road Happy Meal toys from last year. That was also a year ago. It's crazy. Cups and stuff from Cars Land. Wooden cars. And then right underneath that shelf, I have like special edition stuff. So I have like the Disney 100 cars. The Racing Red collection for the 15th anniversary of Cars. Uh, that Paris poster. It's a lithograph from Disney Store. There you go. We'll look at more lithographs soon. More cars, more cars, more cars, all special stuff. And this is like kind of like stuff that I've used in movies or like, you know, teaser trailers or, you know, from when I was younger, barely starting on YouTube. We've come a long way, you know, 120,000 subscribers almost by the time I post this. I think we're at it, 118, but nearly 120. Choco and McQueen, uh, that's a spare because the one I used to film uh, Lightning's Madness broke. So that's an extra. And the wheel car wash, I kept the box for some reason. Um, it's just easier to store that way uh let's see here marvel now that we're here i guess this one's always changing i had a tv here last year it's gone <laughs> so i wouldn't really use the tv that much so i got rid of it i gave it you know or not gave it i we installed it in the kitchen now because we wanted a kitchen tv and so now i have you know open space for funkos and whatever and whatnot crazy enough like 
nothing was taken out or added in besides like that Lego set up there from No Way Home that I reviewed, but everything else was here. So it's crazy to think with or without a TV, all of this fits, which is pretty cool. A lot of Funkos in package. You get the idea. I bought these uh, frames for the pictures from San Antonio Comic Con from the last vlog video I did. Not the one I uploaded a few days ago, but back in July. There's some figures up there, pretty cool stuff. Hot Wheels also, see that's what I was talking about earlier. More autographs, Marvel Legend figures, Spider-Man, Funko Pack, Lego. We have the Daily Bugle on the desk here. I don't think this desk was even here last year, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments, because I think the desk that was here was the old small black one. And now we have this like larger L-shaped desk that's just 100 times better, 110% like the best investment I've ever made. Another Marvel Legend figure there. More posters that are like kind of like uh, 3D, I guess. You like move to certain angles and it changes to different characters. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is my gaming chair. I'll show you the bottom of it right now. There's my iMac. That's what I use to edit my videos sometimes. Is it on? Yeah, so this is... Oh, it's not on. Yeah, so this is usually where I film now. I don't have the light box anymore. I mean, I still do. It's in the closet, but... I like filming with open space now. And then I have these like model cars that I bought at Costco. Those are really, really nice for 16 bucks. You can't beat it. HomePod, uh, ambient lighting, wall outlet to connect everything. Printer to print out paperwork, Lego The Office. More Marvel figures in Lego. Uh, what's in these cabinets? So in this one, I have like my wallet. Um, this is where I put my glasses and jewelry, AirPods. You can kind of see what's in there. This one has filming equipment, tripods, cameras, um, cables, adapters, USBs or drives or whatever, controllers, battery packs, uh, clamps, all that fancy stuff, remotes. And then down here, this is more like paperwork also and like journals and extra stuff and pens and paper when I need it, printer paper, film for a uh, Polaroid camera, Sharpie markers, all sorts of stuff, but nothing too important. Or it is important, but I don't think you guys really care about that. What you guys care about is like, you know, the actual collection. So down here, it's kind of hard to get down to. I have to crush myself down. So here is where I have my Legos for now. It's kind of hard to display them, but I have there, you know, some cars, the Home Alone set. I think the, yeah, the BTS set is down all the way over there. Small little things here and there, gifts with purchase. Captain America shield and more boxes. I think most of them are empty. Well, there's a spider obviously there, the spider bot, but all these other boxes, I think they're empty. I don't know. And of course, my chair, the gaming chair, Iron Man themed. I wish I bought it when it was, you know, or when I bought it, I wish I got it in Spider-Man theme instead of Iron Man. I don't know what I was thinking. And yeah, I do walk around my room or the whole house with my Lightning McQueen Crux. If they even light up. There you go. Well, this is the Cars Curtain. I've shown this a couple times before. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. What else? So that's it for the Marvel section. There's another backpack down there creeping up in the corner. The bed takes up most of the space in the middle. But it's crazy to think how far like this room has changed. Because at one point, this bed was like kind of like in there coming out this way. And I had a lot of like floor space here. The only problem was I didn't have a desk. And what was the other problem? Oh, I had a table in here that was displaying all of my uh, Precision Series sets. And it was a little uncomfortable. It was a little cramped. Yes, I had the floor space, but eh, it, I don't know. It kind of works and doesn't. I like how it looks right now. Like two little hallways or three little, three, yeah, three little hallways. This guy usually isn't out. I just brought him out for the video. But he's usually in a closet or in this one. But I, th I don't think I'm going to store him in my closet anymore. Because I'll show you guys what I did with the closet as well. Change it up a little bit. Um, this wall over here, if you guys remember from my usual videos or even previous room tours, those posters, those lithographs. See, this is what I was mentioning that we would get back to earlier with the whole lithograph thing. I had like these fishing boxes with mini racers inside. That's how I would store them. There's there's like these clear boxes that you could put like fish bait and like fishing equipment inside. 
that my dad gave me and I would, you know, store the minis in there. They were, they were the perfect size. And one night, like at two in the morning, the very top one, for some reason, just said, hey, you know what? I want to kill them. And so it just fell down and it, like it fell here. And hey, can an event, man, because I was for so, like conveniently lying on the other side of the bed that night. So it fell here. And I was conveniently on that side. So thank God nothing happened to me. Because, I mean, I don't know what that could have done. That's heavy metal mini racer cars. Like, uh, it's not just like 10 little cars. And, no, no, there was like probably 50 in there. Because I would stack them one on top of the other in every slot to like make the most out of the space. So, I mean, I had it coming. It was a very heavy box. And I probably should have placed it lower. But, no, that's why I learned. Took them all down. And now I have these posters. And I love this one. I need to get the custom frame done for it still. I haven't gone to order it. But I just love how this looks, man. I love that. Got a different lamp as well now. This time around. This is my little nightstand. Got the little cozy cone alarm. Still doesn't have batteries. I take them out to prevent corrosion. I have that little like piston cup productions tumbler. You can't even see, can you? Well, yeah, the logo's there. There you go. And I have Lego flowers in there. Got this little ham from Disney World uh, at the beginning of this year. And then I have like books, media. See, it says like the art of cars, Cars 2, Cars 3, Mater Saves Christmas. CDs from cars, Lego minifigures, Lego cars, McQueen sunglasses. And then here is where the mini racers uh, live now. And coincidentally, like every single box that was up there perfectly fits in here, which is perfect. So like whenever I need something... I'll pull out this one, right? And it's micro or what are the uh, mini adventures? Sorry. So that, now I can just like you know pop them open, you know grab what I need, okay, you know, and you know do my thing. So then here's like for example the minis. See that's what I was telling you. I would stack two on top of each other. So yeah, it, it was bound to happen at one point. They they were pretty heavy boxes, you know. And then I have these smaller ones that only fit one each uh, slot. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, approximately per each of those boxes. But these, <laughs> these fit a bunch. Let me show you the one. The one that fell was the McQueen one. Oh yeah, yeah, this shit's heavy. Like I'm telling you, man, like this is extremely, extremely heavy. But look at, dude, I didn't even put two here. Like the other box I showed you, there's four per slot oh my bro yeah no wonder it fell oh my goodness yeah there's just so many minis to be honest i'm not a big fan of the minis anymore i i feel like they've dragged it on way too long and i kind of am just waiting for the day for them to be like all right that's it for minis we're canceling the collection kind of like you know they did with the mini adventures micro drifters i'm waiting for the mini racers to just die out already but they they haven't they're going on, oh, what is it, 2017? Yeah, they started in 2017, releasing those little mini racers, and it's about to be 2024. So that's what, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Seven years of mini racers? Oh, my gosh, bro. No, no, that's, that's too much, man. I can't keep doing it. Like, it, <laughs> They're easy to store, yeah, with those boxes, but oh, my goodness, collecting minis is something else. Silver play button. Precision series sets. I got kind of like the target transport there. Mail, die cast, delivering mail to Sarge's surplus hut. I, I like how that looks. Flows VA Cafe. I kind of have just like um, Pixar themed vehicles. Really, really nice. The Curio Shop, Ramones, the on the road courthouse building until someone decides to 3D print the actual courthouse, like the dock one that I bought not too long ago. And that'll replace that crappy little thing. What's in here? Luigi's and Mater's and then all the like road pieces. Up here, I've shown this before plenty of times. So we'll just like breeze on through. It's every or every year of packaging for Mattel. So you like 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. You know, 2011 with Cars 2, Cars 3, 2017, and all the way to 2022 slash 2023 at one point i had the on the road mcqueen up there but i don't know I, it didn't look right so we're just gonna think that mcqueen as a 2023 slash 2024 actually no 2022 
2023 and now 2024 but now with the the fill-in red box instead of that white box around mcqueen there 2024 and well this year also 23 they kind of like transition to that red box so i guess that's 2022 but technically it's all of those three i don't know man it's confusing i don't know why mattel's getting lazy with their packaging all of a sudden now and then up here i have um highly collectible stuff in box like the time travel mater stuff hold on i gotta extend the tripod here big al wedding day uh, san diego comic con exclusive mater tokyo mater air mater rescue squad mater are you seeing the pattern here it's a lot of mater san diego comic con mcqueen three pack barry diesel best buy lightning mcqueen the original mac from that one video lightning mcqueen alive and now we can finally come down here this is the closet door with the on the road poster more wall art from hobby lobby shelf number one is cars one and cars tunes so you have like dj the king rvs uh, the convoy brothers my bad banshee that guy well those two shouldn't be there they're not cars one but i couldn't find another slot for them precision series vehicles townies kind of categorized by like characters and variations how they appear throughout the movie radiator spring sort of characters and tractors and stuff piston cup more piston cup well those are more like the teams and the racers this is more like the officials background characters and stuff from the piston cup mm, what's down here this is more like well it's a mini and van tuners rusty's tent and me and tia's i guess and santa and then move this guy out of the way this is like cars tunes there you go get a good look at that doc's precision series don't really have another spot for it at the moment so he's just living there jada fillmore and color changers frank all right i can move this guy again hopefully comfortably he does work <laughs> goes forward and backwards if i ever have a kid that's who this is going to all right shelf number two you got i guess more random stuff there's no real like this whole top section is kind of hard to categorize well specifically these two because this one is cars land you can just tell that one's star wars and then that one's like um how do i say this those artist mcqueens yeah that's a good way of putting it so here I have, like, I guess Cars 2 and Cars 3. So this is more like variations of the main characters, minus Francesco. I should probably put Francesco there now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm going to do that after the video. Um, the villains, you know, deluxes, more characters from Cars 2. It's kind of hard to categorize them, to be honest. The World Grand Prix racers, minus Francesco. And then we get into Cars 3 with like Thomasville characters, Rusty's Racing Center, all that good stuff. Thunder Hollow. These are extremely desirable right now, especially with children. I don't know why, but every parent's looking for these and they're extremely hard to find and extremely expensive on eBay. And then we have like Florida 500. This one, <laughs> this one looks neat somewhat because this is like all Florida 500 or like Piston Cup Cars 3 centric vehicles, I guess you should say. And then down here is like the Cars 3 stock cars. Man, it, it's kind of hard to see. This is what I don't like about these shelves. It's hard to see like those cars at the very back and like, you know, fully appreciate their details. But it's every single one. Like there's not a single one missing. And there's even like some variations like, for example, metallic gaskets and like the normal gasket. Or even like, uh, what's another example? Uh, Cal, sorry. There we go. Cal Weathers in metallic normal from Thai or i'm sorry from thailand and then with the rubber tires so like they're different there's a bunch of variations here and then here is more like the next gens i guess from cars 3 same thing you can't really appreciate them with how dark it is back there i really want glass display cabinets one day hopefully next year oh that would be an interesting room update and then we got like the nascar releases from walmart from a couple years back 
And the glow erasers, the plastic ones, this is where they're gonna live for now till I can find proper space for them. And then this is all like the uh, expanded universe stuff. So like Beach Racers, Thomasville, uh, 24 hour Le Mans or whatever the, that series was called with these like shifting color ones. I forgot what they're called. Thomasville, I don't know if I mentioned that already. I think the Mud Racers are somewhere there too. Yeah, look at that, way at the back there. You know what, since it is expanded universe, I guess these would make sense down here. I found the, the actual metal ones at Target today as I'm recording this. So I'll show you uh, those in the closet in just a second. All right, we go to the very top again. Cars land and <laughs> planes. So I am slowly collecting planes now. This is what I got so far. What do you guys think? I know a lot of people have been telling me collect planes and uh, here we go. I rewatched them recently through TikTok live and man those movies are actually pretty good i don't know what it is about planes but the humor is i would dare i say it, better than cars like there's some pretty funny jokes in both of the planes movies the first one does feel like a copy and paste of cars one it's the second one that's just really takes the cake in my opinion it's a really good story and <laughs> i know it's a plane section but i don't know where else to put that monster truck ivy so she's just going to live there for now, I guess. And down here, there's not really anything special going on. It's kind of just like a like a space holder to, like, I actually need this space. But it's just like that uh, Dynaco Hauler and that Dynaco Mac. Those, like, interactive track talkers and that walk and talk in McQueen. This was my very first McQueen from when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys know that. Well, I think I said it last video also. But for the new viewers, this is my original Lightning McQueen, the very first one I had. That wasn't die cast. Of course, they, my parents bought me the little small die cast, you know, when I was younger. Like this guy right here, Tumbleweed Lightning McQueen, was one of my first ones. And you can tell because of all the chip markings. Um, Spin Out McQueen was another one. Wherever he is. Where is he? Ah, he's back there. Um, the King, of course. Chick, Mater. You know, all the classics. You know, they, they bought me all the classics as a kid. Not the Piston Cup racers, though. Only, like, the characters who would speak. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked or ahead of myself, I should say. This is the on the road section. I finally have a section for my on, like cars on the road stuff because last year, if I'm not mistaken, anything on the road that would come out, I would just put it on that wall in box. It kind of sucked. It looked good, but this on the road collection is growing ever so rapidly. So now they have an actual home and I think it looks pretty good so far. I, I don't know what's missing for the remainder of this year, oh, Adam Rodriguez, Wes Philanopis, Quadratorcosaur. I think only those three in uh, 2023 is done for On the Road. Yeah, so that looks pretty nice. I, I like how this looks. A lot of McQueen and Mater variations. I don't know if, like, once the On the Road hype is over, I will transition the McQueen and Mater variants with their actual shelves. Because, for example, that brings me to my next point. All Cars 1 McQueen. Tunes in 2 three and factory customs or like special editions you know like disney 100 so i don't know maybe maybe i will move these down here like the under road mcqueen variants down here maybe next year i don't know we'll see depends how many more background characters they release for on the road because if you look at this lineup here almost half of it is made up of just mcqueen and mater variants which is not that good we need more characters hopefully they pump them out next year but yeah, that's Cars 1. Almost every paint job that's iconic that you can imagine from uh, that movie, the first one. And a couple special ones like Golden McQueen, some plastic ones that are like, you know, from play sets, but, you know, they've never been made in actual metal form. So like you got this like dirt track, Radiator Springs McQueen, which is awesome. You got like the Mickey Mouse Disney Parks exclusive, the Storyteller Smell Swell McQueen, you know, super cool stuff. And then right here we have like the tunes and Cars 2. So tunes is just that very back row. It's just that one. And then everything else is Cars 2. Well, mine is this plane up here in the front. I have to rearrange that someday. And there's that one like Michael Jordan custom from like years ago. So down here is Cars 3 and customs. Same thing. I, I think I'm caught up as far as like McQueen variations go for 2017 and newer. And then down here we got Mater. So this is all Cars 1 and Tunes. 
just so cool to see. I mean, I love looking at all the Mater variations. There's just so many. One of the coolest things to collect, in my opinion, is just McQueen and Mater variants. Maybe that's why they make so many. Don't you think, PCP? Duh. <laughs> so down here, I have, like, Cars 2 and I guess 3 and, like, special variants and, like, XRS and, like, Expanded Universe. That's the only way I can kind of, like, put it. And yes, it is hard to dust <laughs> for the people who want to know how do I dust all this. And to the people who also say, what happens if there's an earthquake? <laughs> POV, earthquake happens. Uh, luckily, I live in South Texas and nothing like that has ever happened here as far as I know. You can't really appreciate all of them because they're all stacked in columns or like, I guess like stacks of rows. Yeah, to basically show everything off. But... You move stuff like this and you'll see like, oh, C-3PO, oh, the tractor stormtroopers, or you move red and you'll see like, oh, the Han Solo 3-pack and like Chewie Fillmore, you know, like that's the only thing I don't like about this, you know, room because I am limited with space. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just like you have to choose so wisely with your limited space on how you're going to display this stuff. And uh, I mean, this is the best I could do for Star Wars. Unfortunately, I really want to display those to their fullest potential but speaking of uh displaying to their fullest potential the haulers so last year they were down there where the dock set is the dock hudson clinic and you couldn't see like if you thought you couldn't see the piston cup racers <laughs> you couldn't see the haulers down there i i know some people will remember but i moved them over here and oh, they just look so much better i can actually look and appreciate these haulers now it looks so much better same with like the the helicopters and oh my gosh bro ivy bro like she's she's in the most random places she's taken over planes now she's taking over like the haulers like you know what we're just gonna that should have i should have planned this out should have just placed like random ivies all over the room and that would have been like a like a where's waldo sort of thing find the ivies throughout the video <laughs> Well, now you know the answer where they are, right? But, like, she's just all over the room for some reason. I don't know why. She doesn't have a home. She's hard to display. Anyways, Disney Store, specifically Lightning McQueen. Same thing. He's a super cool character to collect in variation form. And Mater. <laughs> Mater's down here. It's just that the plane, both of them together look kind of cool there. And Cruz and Jackson. Um, Down here, we have, like, random characters mainly cars too but yeah some really nice variations i love that american jeff corvette that like holly shift will from the artist series that stealth finn mcmissile that, oh he looks amazing in that paintwork apple next gen that's a that's a cool one uh hot rod fillmore and ramon where's he uh hot rod the king chick and in metallic oh come on bro disney store was where it was at back then i mean they made some of the nicest releases ever, man. I mean, it, it was something else. We got the popcorn tins and everything. Some remote control cars, Jada vehicles. There's some more back there, I think. Who's back there? Oh, that's Cruising Lightning McQueen. And behind him, I think, is Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Yeah, so there's some more plastic ones down there. And some Maters at the very bottom. So I did say this in a previous video, but I'll say it again for this one. If you see my Instagram story, I got rid of a bunch of plastic vehicles and stuff that I just thought, you know what? I don't want this in my collection anymore. So I either sold them. Well, I, I tried selling what I could and whatever didn't sold or whatever didn't sell my bad. I ended up taking it to a donation center and donated it to kids who will hopefully, you know, get these cars that, you know, are in need of a toy or something. I don't think any of this like change of rearrangement of shelves would have worked if I didn't get rid of stuff. And it's mainly like the plastic cars that just take up so much space. I mean, I had so many Mac variations also that I had to get rid of because they would just take up so much space. So I don't want to collect a lot of the plastic stuff anymore. I Just if it's like cool stuff that, you know, just cool stuff, I guess what I what I like. Like the popcorn buckets, I'm not going to get rid of that. I'm not going to get rid of those large McQueens from 2006. I'm not going to get rid of the Carnival Racers Mac or or all of those from my childhood. Like especially the Walk and Talking McQueen, Fast Talking McQueen. Especially not those ride makers I built in Florida. Like I'm not going to get rid of that stuff, you know. 
that's why it, it, I feel like this was a fresh start when I rearranged all of these shelves because it's like, okay, now I can actually focus on what I want to collect. So it's like half of this wall is like Mattel product and then like the other is like Disney Store and like Jada. And I, I kind of like that. I like how it looks. So I guess we'll start from the bottom and go up for this last shelf. But it's a bunch of Mac variations. We got like the Super Mac track, whatever. And I think like another Mac is behind him also from 2006 from the Supercharged series. It would open up like three ways. That's another one. So I guess I have three in there. That's the uh, Shake and Go Mac. And also some Mickey ears from Cars. Mac die casts and pl uh, plastic ones like the Glow Racer one. That's the uh, Mac for this one. Zoom Zooms. Um, that other Mac right there. Look at his eye. He looks kind of creepy, doesn't he? I want to take a picture of that. It's pretty funny and creepy. Customs, um, that Bolt Mac that I made a couple years back. Jada Mac, Carnival Mac, as I mentioned. And then we have like, um, then we have like the Jada, or not Jada, sorry, Chogokin McQueen. S McQueen's, plural. <laughs> the blue one and the red one. And then mini brands and like these uh, Ushi Squishies and the gold micro drifter. <laughs> There's a gold, a silver for Disney 100, the regular, a Cruise Ramirez, a McQueen, a Jackson. Pretty neat collection. Uh, that is a Disney store watch. Let me show you that in better detail. I think it's worth showing. Yeah. It is part of the Artist Series. It is really, really nice. Limited edition, one of 300. So... I'll fix that in a bit. And then there's also a pen to go along with it. And the pen is really nice also. Limited edition of 500. That's a really nice one. And then we have the Disney Store Special Edition 15th Anniversary Key. More plastic cars that do a bunch of doohickeys and whatnot. Ride makers. I've changed them a bit since the last time we reviewed these on the live stream where you guys decided how you wanted them to look. Same with this one. I bought more parts and stuff, so they definitely look better and finished. We got this large display from Cars, or from Disney Store, I guess. You can't really see well because of the reflection. But it has Mia, McQueen, and Tia. And the turntable moves. It lights up. Let's see if we can see his face. I think he has, uh, I don't know if it has an opening hood. It has suspension, rubber tires, and it lights up. Also, it has working headlights. But yeah, there, there's his face. It's the same face as the, the regular release. Yeah, pretty much the same face. Look at that. Tomika Special Editions. I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 variants pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And then we have, well, this is the McQueen that complements the watch or is supposed to go along with the watch and uh, pen complement. Then we have like the GT. I love that one. My favorite from the entire collection, hands down, along with that one also. Both of those, both of those are my favorites. I mean, they're all good, right? This is, this is my original. This is the very first one I had. And I think the last one I got from the collection might've been this one, but that blue McQueen and that Foos one, oh my goodness, like they're perfect. And then we have the cast member exclusive 30th Disney Store Anniversary McQueen, Colossus XXL, and then this top row right here with a bunch of five packs that looks so cool as you go down because it has like some haulers and like a pack from every movie. So that's like Disney 100, Cars 1 with the final race or the, not the final race, sorry, the beginning race, I guess you should say. The tuners. Then we got Cars 2, Cars 3, the epilogue, Cars 2 hauler, and yeah, in both variations, 2011 and 2022 or 2023, China and Thailand. And yeah, believe it or not, this guy has a closet. He has clothing. He does have a life outside of YouTube. <laughs> so we'll start with the top and then go to the bottom. So inside of this box, there is Cars stuff. And we will open the boxes. Don't worry. I will show you what's inside of these. There's a Cozy Cone. I'll show you this as well in a minute. Funko Pops. Toy Story Collection. This is Buzz Lightyear. Like, just Buzz Lightyear. It's, it's really a hassle to move this stuff around. It, it's a lot. Hot Wheels Cybertruck. They got a TJ Maxx. 
Hot Wheels pencil pusher, a little like storage case that I got at uh, a thrift store. There's stuff inside of that Disney box too. I'm gonna have to maybe open that one up along with that pink one. I think that pink one has just like random Disney stuff. One of them I have McQueen Crocs, an extra pair. Uh, I don't, dude, I don't even know. <laughs> I, uh, this is what's cool about, I guess, the room tours. You get to see stuff that you question and don't even remember what's in there. I know what's in here. It's like a high school memory box. Uh, I don't plan to open it until maybe 10 years from now. I don't know what's in here either. Oh my goodness. This is paperwork. This has like my LLC information, legal information. If anyone tries to sue me or or if the government tries to coming after me, I have like legal paperwork to back me up and whatever. Yeah, I should probably have it in a safe and not a freaking Target bag. But whatever. Um, we'll do that some other day, you know. Receipts. Don't know what's in that Fila box. Disney 100 pack, another one. Those are uh, extras from videos, you know, loose in package, whatever, stuff like that. What else? So right here I have like all of my cars and Marvel clothing. Hot Wheels jacket, box lunch shirt that recently came out. Um, Disney World 5K marathon car shirt, rusty shirt, Radiator Springs Disney Store custom shirt, Run Disney again, Cars Land t-shirt or sweatshirt, another Cars Land shirt, Rain Spoon or Spool, Rain Spooner, John Lasseter shirt, Box Lunch jacket, Daytona shirt as a souvenir, Batman from Six Flags. Uh, shirt I bought in Mexico uh, this last trip that I went to Monterrey, Doctor Strange. Hot Topic shirt, <laughs> Target, Target, Mexico trip, Disney Store, Avengers Campus in California, Avengers Campus in California, Avengers Campus in California, Avengers Campus in California, Disney World, Art of Animation. I don't remember. Target, I think. Hollywood Studios. Di uh, no, Target? Yeah, Target. Disney Store, Florida, Disney World also. <laughs> That's all of my themed clothing. You know, it, it, you know. now that I'm pushing this out of the way, you get to see what's in here. Spider-Man PlayStation 2 and my silver play button box when they shipped it. But obviously the play button's on display. So what's in here, you might ask? Paperwork. Oh, uh, yeah, this is uh, how they created my custom... I made a video on that a couple of years, or not a couple of years ago, last year. What am I thinking? There we go. Lego YouTube play button. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Local Lego store made it for me. There's La Plaza Lego team. It's, it's awesome, man. I mean, it's a one-to-one -one scale replica. I think I had posted this once on my community page, but let me show you all like just how close it is in scale. Ta-da! Look at that. Yeah, the same exact size. They really nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I love this. The only thing is that there's no way to display it unless I take out one of those bricks. But I would have to glue it so it doesn't fall. But I would like to have both of them together side by side. You know what? I might just do that after the video. I'll just leave that out. What else? Shoes have a couple i got rid of a bunch those were a gift recently lego adidas gucci dress shoes crocs um cars three new balance limited edition wore the hell out of those in high school they're the glow racers hey look at that found them at target they were on sale 10 percent off people till the end of september if you find them get them because 649 is a little too much but five and change a little better uh, mini racers i have to open those to review soon hot wheels hot wheels variations and package uh these are f doubles for filming when i would record like you know the adventures of lightning and cruise with my brother i have like <laughs> endless amounts of like cruiser mirrors extras in case anything ever happened yeah that's like six cruiser mirrors i think on the road variants International and USA, Disney 100, international, rare characters. Sphero Lightning McQueen is in there. Forgot about him. 
Uh, the Toy Story D23 TVs are there also. You can't really admire them there. All these cubbies have like my clothing. Those have like plushies and stuff. Yeah, this is like the Dia, uh, Dia de los Muertos. Cars Sugar Skull. Yeah, this, that's from Cars. Plushies. There's, there's McQueen from Cars 3. Cars 2. Damn, I'm making a mess, bro. There's a Target shopping cart here. A toy replica, that is. Mater. A cruise is in there with Jesse. Avengers uh, Campus Sipper Gauntlet, whatever. I don't know what it was called. Zoom Zooms. A bunch of random plushies. Backpacks. Oh my dude, I have way too much stuff. And that's because I got rid of a lot of stuff recently. Helmets. Spider-Man costume. More backpacks from cars. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna have to I'm obviously gonna clean all this. I'm a really clean person. I I love having everything or, uh, organized. What else is in there? A backpack, Thor's hammer, gauntlets, salt flat sign pack. It's empty. It doesn't have anything inside, but I just like the box. <sighs> Go, Buddy McQueen. He's in here for a reason. I'm going to do a video soon, hopefully. I won't say what, but it basically will end him once and for all. Hopefully next month. And uh, Barbie. Hey, it's a Mattel product. I collect Mattel products. So I got the Funko Pops. I got the Hot Wheel. That was a free gift when you bought the popcorn bucket at AMC at the premiere. And then I had like the Mattel Creations exclusive Corvette four pack. Mario Kart Hot Wheels too. My goodness. Jada Jackson Storm, Mint in Box. Uh, Toys R Us plushies. That's a Walmart display, obviously. Okay, that's it for the closet. I guess now what I'll have to do is bring a ladder and we're gonna go box by box. Okay, first box from the left side of the closet. Cars. So, package stuff from what I'm seeing so far. A barrel. I think that was from Breaker Boggs when I unboxed him. Miss Fritter. Spanish Lightning McQueen. Ah, uh, yes, he revs in Spanish. <laughs> yep, he revs in Spanish. There we go. Yeah, a bunch of random stuff that honestly isn't even on display when it should be. McDonald's toys, huh? Oh my goodness, look at that. Mini racer tracks. The bags from the Wishables. Tool carts, remote controls, the giant Lightning McQueen's charger, that guy right there, micro drifter tracks, McDonald boxes, the cereal box from the video, oh my gosh, a jumbo eraser, and I think that's it without destroying this box completely, the instruction booklets from Chogokin McQueen, a target display, oh my gosh, <laughs> What? Remotes. A bunch of other cool stuff. Interesting. Face masks? Oh my goodness. Nostalgia, bro. Lights? Dude, I should hang these. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'm already getting ideas for the next year's room tour. Am I right? That's pretty cool. All right. On to the... Well, that was also next to the box. A helmet. A motorcycle helmet at that. Real, not a toy. Actual helmet, bro. Like like a legit helmet you can use on the road. With straps and everything. Yeah, it's, it's a real helmet. They made a Jackson Storm one too, but... You know, I had to get McQueen. This is what was in this Dynaco Convoy Brothers box. The Dino Eggs. Some extra mini racers. Some buttons. I think I need to get down to show you this a little bit better. Yeah, so that's the four pack from Target. Lightning McQueen Day boxes, eggs, basic lines from Disney. No, no, uh, Mexico, my bad. Uh, buttons. These like squirters from the color changers. Extra mini racers for some reason. I should probably put the error one in here now that I'm 
going through this stuff. Bubbles. And I dropped that mater also. There's a fair game mini racer in there as well. What else was up there? This track, mint in box. Pretty cool. Let's put that off to the side. This too. Ride Maker's extra tires were also up there. That Mater plush also. Toy Story. Right? Yeah, it's Toy Story. Yeah, I can't really get through that, can I? But it has all of my Woody's and... Oh, that sounded wrong. <laughs> all of my Woody dolls. A uh, couple Japanese toys. Jesse and all of those other characters. And here is Buzz Lightyear. Mainly just Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. There was a Pixar ball in there too. And let me see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to move a bunch of this stuff to access these two boxes. Yeah, so this was the gift box. But it has other stuff. See, it has like that Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear Star Command. Coming Star Command. I got that at Ross, no? Where did I get that? But it was at a really good discounted price. That's why I picked it up. Let me see here. That was a whopping... $17. Wow, that is an amazing price. That's really good. Uh, I've done a video on this stuff, so I won't really go too much into detail about it. Although, I think I will display this properly. Those who have seen the video know what it is. Sticker book. I mean, I don't really... I mean, yeah, I might put that over there with the media. This probably could go somewhere up there, but... Not a fan of that McQueen, to be honest. So I'll just leave it there. Just whatever. Uh, let's see what else comes in there. Oh, this pin. I'll definitely display in that one. Up there. Holographic card. Yeah, that needs to go with media. That can go there. Lightning McQueen socks. That can go in the closet. Okay, I might put more stuff in here. But now we have to go through that pink box. So let me get back up on the ladder here. What can you see at first glance? Oh my gosh, yeah. I have to take it down. McQueen Crocs. McQueen Crocs. McQueen Crocs. I have a serious problem, man. All right, next box. A bag. Ugh. What the hell is this box? What? Oh my gosh, bro, what? Where did this stuff even... Oh great, more lights to put next year, I guess. Okay, fan mail. Hollywood stuff. Dude, this is the box, I'm pretty sure, where I just throw random shit in, and I just call it a day. Look at this. Where did this come from? When did I get this stuff? Oh my god. Why? Why is it? Why do I need two? Come on, bro. Oh, just thrown in there. Yeah, super rare Disney Infinity figures. Yeah, just, just thrown at the very bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's appropriate. Yeah, hopefully they don't break or anything. Chances are they are, though. Funko Pops? The base? The game itself? What? A face mask? A graduation dude? Whatever that is. Mini brands? The disc from Disney Infinity? Oh, I know exactly what this is. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. It's my DS. It's my old DS, man. Look, I had a car stylus. Wow. Ah, oh, dude. I bet you the battery still works better on this. Better than my iPhone. How much you want to bet? Oh my gosh! It works! Holy crap. No way! Hey, that's me! I don't even look that different, but I, those are older bed sheets. How long ago was this? Okay, how do you check your camera roll? No. How... What? I forgot how do you how do you use these? Oh, that's a that's my cousin. Dude, I want to see the photos. I want to see the photos. Okay, I'm I'm assuming it's camera.
Okay. You know what? We're going to take a photo. Oh my gosh, it still works. Let's do a quick race. Oh, Nigel Gearsley, okay. Well, I can't, I can't control both. Okay, yeah, we'll just have to end it there. I messed up. I was doing so well too. No, I wasn't, I really wasn't, but whatever. Go, dude, go. There we go, there we go. Easy, baby, easy. I still got it. Come on, man. That's too easy. I don't know who those other cars are besides McQueen. Oh, is that Boost? No. Some random. Man. That was a trip full of nostalgia, man. That pretty much wraps it off here for the room tour. Let me know what you guys thought. It was a bit of a different one. I know there is a bit of a mess that needs to be done off camera, however. I put up the little light strings, so you won't have to wait till next year till those are up. They look really nice. I like how those came out. Anyways, let me just get in the middle here. I want to say a proper goodbye. I even put up the, the Lego play button off camera, but yeah. I love it, man. This is one of the most fun jobs ever. All right, I'll catch y'all later.